guys, this is Ryoko Hakubi Fan 97, aka Morgan here with my first Let's Play, and I have a special guest with me. Introduce yourself. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is your favorite bacon loving Nicker boy, Toy uh, DJ SJ, aka Nekozaku on the cut, here with Morgan Henchlinus and her Let's Play on the Black Rock Shooter. Yep, which is based on Black Rock Shooter. A character that inspired one of the songs by Rio Supercell feat Hatsune Miku. So anyways, let's start the game, shall we? I'll go ahead with reading the text that's explaining the story. In the year 2032, on November 16th at 1.07pm and 54.66 seconds, an area race descended from the clear blue sky and the evasion began. So, the story takes place in about 19 years from the present, where these aliens are attacking out of nowhere. Completely out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. oh After weeks of chaos, the humans consolidated all their forces and launched a counterattack. However, years passed without them ever going on the offensive. They were nearing extinction. Wow, sounds dramatic. 19 years after the war began. Not just that, this game is an action RPG. The human race, of which only a dozen remain, was waiting for her to awaken. She was humanity's final hope. You know, I've noticed that in a lot of these games they call the hero the last hope for humanity. Wow, I didn't know that! Alright, now we are on to tutorial, Battle Basics. The square button is for shooting, X button for guarding, and circle button for dodging. Depends on which direction. And then you'll hold the R button and press either one of the buttons that was showing for a skill move. The heat guard located at the bottom right of the screen will increase when you shoot and dodge. When the heat guard reaches 100%, you will become incantisipated for a short time. The lower your heat guard, the stronger your shots. Be aware of your heat guard when using shoot and guard. I guess I have to be careful and take it easy when it comes to fighting in battles. If the heat guard gets full, I'm screwed. Yeah, that'll toast mm -hmm. your tater tots, mm -hmm. alright. Let's test out the skill boost that I have. First with the first shot, then aggressor, which increases the attack and defense for a limited time. Now the chaser gun. And finally the vortex. There we go! I defeated Dead Master! Even though she doesn't look like the one from the anime. I got to say, yeah. I really like the design of Black Rock Shooter in this game. She looks like she has a gothic look, but still badass. Even though I like her design in the anime more. As for this character, that's White Rock Shooter. And here we go with the intro for this game before we continue on. A metropolis and ruins. Seems very creative. <laughs> I know. Run for your lives, people. Yeah, because those areas are coming for you. Is it just me, or does this intro kind of remind me of the game Shadow the Hedgehog, even though I never played it, but still? Hmm. Well, yeah, it does look like Shadow Wait, the Hedgehog. Wait, that character kind of looks like Chariot for the TV series. Well, just only the crown that I can find similar to her. Hmm. I think I heard that scene from Ronnie's intro that she used. You know, Scarlet Otaku, a great friend of mine who I mostly call her Ronnie. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know her. Mm, me too. No well, just for the long yep. time. Wow, that intro looks pretty impressive. 
I love how the animation goes, especially with the kick-ass music. September 25th, 2051, San Francisco. So, this now takes place 90 years later after the war with the aliens. And for heads up, DJ, this is not the first black rock shooter related thing that I'm interested in. I've seen the OVA and the TV series, but I haven't read the manga yet. I know the stories in them were different, especially the characters' designs. When I first heard of Black Rock Shooter right after I seen Ronnie using her as an avatar, I haven't known doing much about it until then. That's how I made my mistake of thinking she's a book away on my first dramatic reading that I did. Thank goodness I did some research to notice that problem. But, back to the story. As you can see, the troops are trying to wake up Black Rock Shooter from the truck. But, however, it doesn't seem to work. Man, this guy is so aggressive. I know. <laughs> oh boy, looks like they're losing a few of them. If you didn't notice, that part got slow because of the wagginess, especially in the few of them in this cutscene. Yes, I'm playing this on my PSP emulator. Congrats. My thank you. <laughs> wow, talk about harsh over there. Jeez, calm down. I'm sure she wake up right before. Oh, never mind. I guess those gunshots finally woke her up. But damn, she's so strong and also badass. But more badass than Shadow in my opinion. No offense to any Shadow the Hedgehog fans out there. Wow, she's as strong as Superman. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's surprising that her cannon was right beside her. But what an amazing strength that she has. The thirst is real. Mm -hmm. And now there's more enemies attacking those troops. Thank goodness Black Rock Shooter finally got her cannon in order to stop them. I'm just surprised that she has her sword just like in the anime. But she doesn't use it in much of the gameplay of this game. So I'm ready to kick ass and shoot some enemies, and I'm all out of shots. These guys are not that hard to beat, as long as you don't overheat yourself. You know, those robots sort of remind me of Galaga. I didn't know! Wow, this is you my know, real sort of first battle, and I'm halfway there to level up. And by the way, after battles, you can sometimes get items that can help you in case, like the repairs, which can be helpful to heal yourself in case if you're running low on health. Creepers. <laughs> So she fought the, those truths on her enemies, but they told her that they aren't. I'm thinking that she may be new to this world. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see as the story goes. Wow, Black Rock Shooter's hair is all wavy. <laughs> I know, that's how the animation goes in this game. Singla, what kind of a name is that? Kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
本当に知らない Mm, just ignore that. That's my sis mm, sister. She, she can be crazy at times. Okay. Oh god, here comes more enemies. I got to be prepared to fight them while these troops can go and cover. Oh man, Chris Smooth just has to play this game. Wow, really? Yeah. And then a flashback of Black Rock Shooter and her father appears. I got to say, she looks pretty cute as a child, but we cannot run for battles. You know, I think she's not new to this world after all, but we'll see later on. You know the, you know the combat. It sort of reminds me of a uh, S4 League. Mm. I never heard of this game. S4 League is an uh, MMO third person yeah, I'm shooter. I'm gonna say yes. I can clearly understand it just fine. So now the troops are giving out their war calls before we can continue on. そういや、紹介がまだだな。俺はほぼつだ。シャオミンリーダー。シャオミンさん、リーさん、どっちでも Wow, I can't believe she has scars on her right side, but just only in this game any OVA. I may be right or wrong in this, but we'll see. So now we have the first mission that I have to complete, which would be in part 2. Alright, the first mission is known as the Final Weapon Awakens, but we're going to end this here as I'll heal myself and save the game in this terminal. The terminal sort of remi reminds me of the Lyoko Towers in Code Lyoko. Wow, I never heard of that show! <laughs> yeah. And that's all we have to say. So this is Ryoko Hakubi Fan 97, aka Morgan, signing out. And this is your favorite big another Neko Boy toy, DJ SJ and Neko Taco on the cut. And I'll catch you whenever the next time I catch you. Meow. Bye.